to working with you on these issues and our two new members certainly bring a great deal of experience uh, to our committee. Uh, with that, let me turn it over to Senator Paul and then we will go on to the roll call vote. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Office of Administrator of Small Business Administration should be a nonpartisan job. You should want someone who administers the program fairly and without politics. Um, I met Ms. Guzman. I'm hopeful that she will. I'm hopeful that it will be something that's not a partisan position. I do have some misgivings. Her home state of California is by no, main, no means an economic model for the nation for small business. Just like California, the Biden administration, I think, will seek to spend its way out of misguided policies. Rigid government lockdowns caused this crisis facing small businesses, and after spending trillions on COVID relief and hundreds of billion in PPP loans, the administration is seeking to spend almost $2 trillion more. And I think that's a mistake. We have a choice. We can continue down the path of unsustainable spending and doom ourselves into a future of economic contraction and crushing taxation, or we can allow ourselves free enterprise system and American small businesses to open and flourish. I'll support this nomination in a good faith effort to work with the administration to pursue the only permanent solution for small businesses, which is ultimately the reopening of the economy. In supporting this nomination, I hope Ms. Guzman will administer the SBA programs in a, in a way that is consistent with congressional intent, that she doesn't attempt to create law, and that she will zealously prevent and remedy waste, fraud, and abuse in these uh, vast new programs. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you, Senator Paul. Uh, is there any further debate at this point, or can we go to uh, Senator Hunts? Yes. Can we make remarks, or would you rather we wait until after the vote? I I'm more than happy to stay after the roll call. If it's a convenient to the members to, to be able to do the roll call first, if that's acceptable to There being no further debate at this point, um, and there is a reporting quorum present. We'll now proceed to the roll call on the sole item of today's agenda, the nomination of Isabel Guzman. The question is whether to report favorably the nomination of Isabel Guzman to be administrator of the Small Business Administration, and the clerk will call the roll. Ms. Cantwell. Aye. Mrs. Shaheen. Aye. Mr. Markey. Aye. Mr. Booker. Aye. Mr. Coons. Aye. Ms. Hirono. Ms. Duckworth? Aye, by proxy. Ms. Rosen? Aye. Mr. Hickenlooper? Aye. Mr. Paul? Aye. Mr. Rubio? No, by proxy. Mr. Risch? No, by proxy. Mr. Scott? No, by proxy. Ms. Ernst? Aye. Mr. Inhofe? Aye. Mr. Young? Aye. Mr. Kennedy? No. Mr. Hawley? No. Mr. Marshall? Aye. And Mr. Chairman? Aye. On the matter of the nomination of Isabel Guzman to be administrator of the Small Business Administration. The vote is 15 ayes to five nays. And the nomination has been reported favorably. The committee will report the nomination favorably to the Senate. Uh, there will be no further roll calls at this meeting, so if members need uh, to do other business, uh, we're, we're free. I'm going to recognize Senator Ernst for her comments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I am concerned about the changes that the Biden administration announced to the Paycheck Protection Program this week. And while I support allowing more of those self-employed folks to qualify for loans, I do fear that some of the other changes will have negative consequences uh, on some of our hard-hit businesses and that they appear to contradict congressional intent. The suddenness of this announcement is also concerning 
morning, the administration provided Congress and stakeholders with no advance notice, and there is still widespread confusion about the details and the implications. But that being said, um, today I was happy to support Ms. Guzman because I believe she has the experience necessary to effectively implement and address challenges with the COVID relief programs. One of the things I discussed with Ms. Guzman was the importance of communication with Congress and our stakeholders. And under her leadership, I expect SBA to do a better job of this than the Biden administration did uh, earlier this week. So I thank you very much and yield back, Mr. Chair. Uh, Senator, I thank you for your comments. Uh, we're going to discuss whether we want to have an oversight hearing before the confirmation of the administrator or not, but we are going to have an oversight hearing on the PPP program. We think that's one of our most important responsibilities in this committee, so we will be holding such a hearing at the earliest possible moment, and we'll certainly be working with your staff as we put that hearing together. Any further comments from any of the members?